My first museum visit was here, and here I am exhibiting here. I'm from just down the block, Bridgeport, Connecticut. From my window, you could see the uh, dump trucks, bulldozers going over the landfills, you know. And there was no fences either, so that's how much care they had for us. You know, there was no fences around the cesspool. And the uh, dump was my playground. So we, I played out there, you know, like uh, all of us did. I mean, I had a different, you know, take on what the dump was. I mean, I was grabbing things there and trying to make things. Uh, others were there, you know, like I said, playing around the cesspool and falling into it, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, uh, you know, my beginnings in terms of how I probably see uh, uh, even found objects and what they mean to me and how I'm trying to echo that in my works had its beginning, beginnings there. That whole cityscape that's in my piece would not have happened if I didn't have kids playing outside of my uh, studio. And they would always point at the works because at their level, that's a city. You know, they're saying that they're like Gulliver, but they're still like, that looks just like, and they said, that looks like New York. That's a city. Usually those things will go from the floor as I'm working on them and go up on the wall. You'll see that nonstop in my work. It's like, they, you know, I don't work them on the wall, I work them on the, on the floor. So the kids are seeing me working on the floor, but they're seeing a cityscape. And I said, hey, rather than go into the park and create this piece, which is going to be just another, mon you know, a piece going in, it's, 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 it's going vertical, you know, uh, uh, like the buildings. All, all sculptors will do that. You know, uh, you, know, the, you know, you give them a project outside, guess what they're going to do? They're not gonna make something flat, that's for sure. They're gonna go up. And it's like I say, well, that, this is the kid said, this is the kid said that this is a six. Take advantage of that, you know? <laughs> Grab that, you know? Is that rather than go up, just why don't we do something flat, you know? And allow you to be Gulliver, you know? And, and there's Lilliput. This is a really exciting time at the Wadsworth Athenaeum. Uh, we've been open since September, but we haven't really been able to welcome back the crowds to the museum in the way that we've really wanted to. And what better way of welcoming back our communities than through these incredible installations by Leonardo Drew. The work on the front lawn is this expansive opportunity to enter into this landscape and participate in it. Um, in fact, he says it's, it's the visitor who completes the experience. And his works are all about experience. It's something that makes you feel so small and yet part of this vast surrounding. It's almost like witnessing the Big Bang <laughs> happening in real time. It's a wonderful time to welcome back our communities to the Wadsworth, to celebrate art, to think about art's meaning in our spaces, and how, how art can transform our spaces too in such fantastic ways. No matter what materials you, you're gonna be working with, it still has to go through this channel, this channel of you, and you're, you are stamping it. Once you find your voice, that's it. So the, the material is of no, of no consequence, absolutely of no consequence. Yeah. When you're walk, working on a, like a, a non-commissioned piece, mm -hmm. Do you work with sketches first? Do you no, come, or you just you just start you just start? You need to cap the spontaneity. You have to get that. You have to capture that in the actual work. The, 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 if you can get that, then the, the work is even heavier, more powerful, and 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 and, 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 and you go through the, the whole life of the work that way. You know, it's like there's all these like mistakes or or, or things by happenstance that happen as you're sort of moving forward and the kind of decision making. You want to be able to see that. If you plan it all out on paper and then do it, then you've already siphoned off a good deal of the, uh, of the, uh, the energies of the work. The uh, museum wanted to sort of go out and fix all of the holes, but I said, no, you need to sort of keep these because that's its natural growth and finding its new iteration of self, you know? So it needs to sort of like continue to sort of like deteriorate and become, right? Become its real self. As I'm sort of building these things, uh, new materials, all kinds of things can come into play and it's wide open. But once it finds itself, that's that. So as I'm looking at uh, the completed work, you know, and it's only completed because it's now hanging in the museum, I can't touch it anymore. 
but like uh, when you're in a, in a studio, it's that it's an ongoing dialogue between me and the works that are there. Nothing is sacred. I take things apart all the time in order to sort of realize, uh, you know, the next body of works.